we came out of the debate and there was a huge police presence. Uh, they escorted us up into a separate room, uh, the candidates, and they said, we want to tell you there was an incident. Uh, there were a lot of police all over the place and they said uh, a man showed up wearing a Confederate uh, flag over his face. He said he was there to make a very strong point and that someone was going to get hurt. Uh, eyewitnesses had said that he was uh, making a point about the niqab and that he was very scary. There were a lot of families around and people were not uh, too thrilled at the uh, incident that transpired. So the police said, we are happy to escort you all to your cars. The man is in custody. I got off the phone with the police just a little while ago. He's still in custody today. They're looking at whether or not they should be pressing charges and hate crimes is now looking into it. As the, uh, con the federal liberal candidate for Calgary Rocky Ridge, I find it very sad uh, that this kind of thing happens, especially in a place where people are trying to get um, more information about the democratic process and trying to make sure they understand what all the candidates are about. It is a place that families should have felt safe in and they weren't. This, this person is not indicative of all the people who live in Calgary Rocky Ridge. I have been very, very outspoken about the right for women to wear the niqab. I believe in equality for all. I believe in religious freedoms for all. And I'm very scared that this is a very slippery slope. The divisive politics of the Harper government scares me because what's next? When you take away the niqab for women, um, what about the, the veil that women wear in wedding ceremonies? That is a, a religious ceremony and it is also a legal ceremony. So what's next? We have to be very careful about the rights that we're taking away from people. We are Canadians, we are all part of the Canadian family and we should be all equal and we should all be, remember that these people are our neighbours, our children are going to school with them and we have to make sure that we take the hatred and the mistrust out of it and get rid of this divisive politics.